My name is Cameron Lee. I am a seminary professor at Fuller Seminary. I've been doing that since 1986, and I've been at Hillside for over 30 years now. I'm a, uh, a certified family life educator, so a lot of the stuff that I do, shall we say in my spare time, is work with couples and families and so forth in an educational environment and my seminary teaching. I've also written a couple of books. Uh, so one of them is called Marriage Path. This comes from work that I did on Jesus's Beatitudes back in the early 2000s and gives people a sense of not just how do you improve your marriage relationship, but how do you lean into your calling as a peacemaker? What does it look like in our marriages to actually do that, uh, to be people of humility and of compassion and of hope, to hunger to do what it is that, that God would want us to do? And the other one, a, a little bit more recently, is called What Love Does and Why It Matters. This is an exposition of 1 Corinthians 13. And this is not just about marriage, it's about Christian relationships and, and Christian discipleship as a whole, plays off against that romantic culture, our understanding of love. And in the context of a church, it's actually rather broken in its own way. So how do we really understand what Paul means when he's talking about love in chapter 13 and how might we be able then to appropriate that as believers? Really, I think for Christian married couples in particular, I really believe that what we need to empower that kind of work, empower the relationship of moving together is we really need to understand what the life of Jesus is about and what it means to be people who are pursuing peace, who are pursuing humility, having compassion for one another, wanting to do what God wants us to do, wanting to be the kind of people that God wants us to be. So whatever it is that we want to try or to learn in order to improve our relationships pragmatically, it has to be grounded in a vision of who it is that God has created us to be, who it is that God is making us to be.